Welcome to new video tutorial on technology Robone in this video tutorial I present the solution on what to do when WhatsApp does not recognize your local backups despite entering the same phone number that the backups belong to and yet in the end it does not restore them, nothing else restores you groups or absolutely nothing. For this type of problem happens for a few reasons why. But in this video I explain the solution that I show you and you will see that if it works nothing else I ask you to watch this entire video tutorial, at the end of the video if you have any questions or other you can leave in the comments part of this video. Well let's start. As a first step, see if you have accessed all the permissions to WhatsApp if you already have it installed and if not, then install and then see if you gave it all the permissions that WhatsApp requires, for that you just have to go to your phone settings. Being already in settings, look where it says applications or all applications, in my case it would only be applications that would be this one. And now you have to find where all the installed applications are, in my case I still have to click where it says applications. Well then here I search and search for applications, here are all my downloaded, installed in factory default applications, so here I am going to search for WhatsApp, you also do the same, you can search by downloading or searching in the search engine if you have the option to your phone. WhatsApp, it already appeared here, so I click on the application. Well then here, if you realize there is a part where it says permissions, then enter this option. Well, in my case I have granted all the permissions to WhatsApp, for example in the part where it says with permission there is everything to which I have given permission and in the lower part there is nothing, if for example I had not given it storage permission. Deny. So if you realize another part already appears where it says denied and storage already appears here, here I denied permission to storage. For that you don't have to deny anything when restoring WhatsApp. Now for example if I give it to allow. And upload it again where it says with permission. So you realize I have everything with permission. So check if you have given permission to all of WhatsApp. Because many times this is why WhatsApp does not recognize local backups. Then be careful with this. As a second step, the locations would already be. In this case WhatsApp has two locations since it varies a bit due to personal or normal WhatsApp and WhatsApp business, then or if it is another WhatsApp mod that they have installed, you have to take a good look at that, there are to put the correct location well, this is what I am going to teach you next. Open the file explorer of your phone that already comes by default on your phone. But if in your case you have trouble finding the app. Then you can go to the Play Store and download the File Explorer. When you already have the File Explorer app downloaded and installed, you would open it this way. The internal memory already appears here for me. In your case the internal memory should also appear here above all the other options. If I had added an external memory to my phone, then it would appear here next to or below. But of course, then that's why only the internal memory appears on my phone. The next step is to open the internal memory. If you realize here all my folders of my files and apps appear, here for example if we download as it is in alphabetical order, the WhatsApp installation folder should appear there. We go down, well as you can see no WhatsApp folder appears here. Well this is what happens with WhatsApp, so for example in my case to find the WhatsApp installation folder I have to enter the Android folder. The folder that it already comes with the Android system by default when buying the phone, which would be the Android folder and this is where WhatsApp is installed. In my case, on this phone I have the normal WhatsApp or personal WhatsApp, so here I have already opened the Android folder. Those of you who also have normal WhatsApp, it should most likely appear here, or put the folder here in case you have saved in some external memory and need to copy to your phone again. Well here the next folder to open is the media folder. And now yes, if you realize, the WhatsApp folder with this name appears and this is where all the files and backups are, including multimedia files, etc. Here we open this folder com.whatsapp. And we can see another folder with the name WhatsApp. And here the backups, databases and media folders already appear, 
But here we open the databases folder. And we can see that here I already see all the backup files that are mg stores or crypt. In my case I have crypt 14. So if you need to restore your chats and have saved the backup files. They have to put the files in this location. Paste the WhatsApp folder here and then they would proceed to install WhatsApp and then WhatsApp should recognize the backups. Times ago the WhatsApp folder was not here but currently it is, at least for the normal or personal WhatsApp. Now for the WhatsApp business, it is out of this Android folder. Now we go with the second location. On my other phone I have WhatsApp business and the location of the folder is another. I am also going to show you. This is my other phone and on this phone I have WhatsApp business installed. Here I am going to enter the app, similar to the file explorer. Well, as you can see, the internal memory of the phone also appears here, as in the previous case, and in this phone I also only have the internal memory, nothing else, without external memory, if it had, it would appear here on par or a little below. Well here I also open the internal memory in this way. Here you will notice that the installation location of the WhatsApp business that I have is not in the Android folder, unlike the previous case. I open Android, Media, and here comes a folder com, WhatsApp.web but it is empty so there is nothing to look for here, I return. So for a WhatsApp business it is to go to the bottom or last, ready as you can see here I have the WhatsApp business installation folder, without having to enter another folder, just open the internal memory and look for the WhatsApp folder and if we open the folder of backups, databases and media already appears here, we open databases and if we open and as you can see all the files from my backup, so if you realize WhatsApp has two locations, that is, normal WhatsApp and business have different locations and this is where it is very important. If I copied all these files and pasted them in the Android folder, then WhatsApp would not recognize it and my WhatsApp chats would not be restored. For that reason, it is very important where to put the WhatsApp installation folder and of course with the backups so that WhatsApp recognize your backups and thus restore all your chats and as you already know by making a mistake in this location, it would not restore anything, it would only restore your groups or something else, but not the chats, stickers or other, so that restore all your chats, stickers, files, etc. You have to put the backups in the right location. If you have any questions or other, comment in the comments section of this video and I will gladly answer them as soon as possible. If it helped you, subscribe here on my channel and on my blog and follow me on my different social network pages to be aware of new methods of recovering WhatsApp chats, messenger, files, among others. In the description and in the first comment of this video I leave you more links where I share more recovery methods in my links to the social network pages, blog, groups, among others. By Technology Rob 1. Robert Ben.